Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your patience. We've had a little bit of technical uh, difficulty in getting started here, but we are ready to go. So uh, first and foremost, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Mike Lewis. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Educational Services in the Grossmont High School District. And it's really my great pleasure to be here this evening to be able to kick off our presentation to the Alpine community on the brand new high school that we are planned and will be breaking ground on here in the next year and a half to two years. So we're, we're, uh, we're really excited. And I know this has been a very long journey for the community of Alpine. And uh, it's great to get to a point where we can see something that's really truly going to come to uh, fruition here very shortly. As for myself and the members of the team that you're going to hear from this evening, we really started in earnest about six months ago in January in terms of looking at what kind of educational program does this school need to have in order to be the very best high school in the state of California and to meet the needs of the students of Alpine, Harvest Canyon, Boston Valley, and wherever else they may come from for the next 20 to 50 to 100 years potentially. And so that's how we started. Not with what the buildings will look like, not with what the physical plant as a whole will look like, but what will the educational program be? And we spent a lot of time on that. And I'm not going to get into it too much because I've got a lot of experts that are going to spend time talking to you about that. But then from that, we then tried to determine what then the buildings will look like in order to support that vision for the educational program. So that's why we're here tonight. I know some of you may want to talk a little bit about other issues related to the school, the naming of the school, for example, which has certainly been a hot topic over the last several weeks, uh, other, other topics in terms of boundaries. But I just want to say that that's really not why we're here tonight. Those topics are going to be covered thoroughly over the next several months. But tonight we want to really focus on the program and the physical buildings of the school. And I think when we leave here tonight, you're going to be very, very excited, as I am. So without further ado, oh, one last piece. I have a couple of notes here. You'll see the uh, folks sitting around the outside of the room. Those are more of our experts in various aspects of the school program. And after the main presentation is done, you'll have an opportunity to go talk to those folks in depth and ask all of those questions that you may have and get those answers very, very thoroughly answered. In light of that, we'd ask you not to ask questions so much during the program, because we have a limited amount of time. We'll probably answer many of those questions for you just with the regular program, but then you'll have, again, that opportunity to speak with these experts around the room afterward. So with that, I'll introduce Cindy Douglas. Hey, good evening and welcome. My name is Cindy Douglas. I'm Director of Instruction and Professional Development for the Grossmont High School District and have been very, very fortunate to have been tasked with working on this high school design and making sure, like Mike said, this really is the best design for the kids of the future. So the school that we're going to share with you really is the culminating efforts of looking everywhere to find the very best of what's working today with our kids. So is this going to look like the school that you and I went to? No. It's going to look like the school of the future that guarantees that we do the very best we can to meet the needs of every student who comes here on an individual basis. But I've got to tell you, I'll echo, echo what Mike said a little bit. We really researched this. We visited some schools in Washington. We visited some schools locally, including the Met here in San Diego. We did a lot of research with some of the professionals out there currently who have looked at the best practices for student learning. And it was taking what was working there and leaving the rest and bringing it together into a program that we are very confident is going to be a unique program that meets the needs of every student. So we're very excited to bring this to you tonight. We really want to get your input. I want to emphasize that this is not the final say. This is not a final meeting. This is one of many. And in the lobby out front, there was a sign-in sheet for anybody who would like to take a role and be part of the planning. We're still morphing this, and we're still designing it. And the end result is going to be a program that really meets the needs of Alpine. So if what we have in place right now isn't perfect to meet the needs, we'll continue to revise and change it until it is. And I'm very, very happy that we have some people in the room here tonight that really can answer your questions. Like Mike said, when we finish presenting, we hope that you'll go to every station out there. Any question you have about PE, 
facilities, athletics, the architectural design, um, an advisory system that we're going to talk about later on today, the curriculum piece. There are people at every station that can answer one-to-one -one with you and be able to give you an answer to your question. Now, also in the front lobby, by the way, we're very pleased that the Alpine Education Foundation is out there, and they're working with us to continue to raise funds for the things that we may not have funds currently to roll out for the details of the school. So I'd invite you to stop and talk to them as well about things you can do to help them in their efforts to continue raising money. And by the way, you will hear from several of the people around the room right now, but I do want to emphasize we have an amazing team from the Met. The Met is a big picture school, which I'll be talking about in the presentation, that's located in San Diego Unified. We have their principal here. We have key members of the team that work day to day with the students. And we also have, which I'm really excited about, the students themselves. We'll be talking about their experiences at the school, and what we hope will become the experiences of our students here in Alpine. So with that, let me go ahead and introduce you to the concepts that we've been talking about that we're so excited about to bring to Alpine. First, we began working with the Alpine Planning Group, and that, that being not the Alpine Planning Group for Alpine, but for the actual high school planning group. And they had already done a lot of research, a lot of discussion, and had developed some guiding principles. They were very adamant that we take to heart and incorporate in our design. And those included, it must be community-based, we had to ensure it was based in technology, that there was a plan for personalization for every student who came to the school, that there was authentic learning, that we connected what happened in the classroom to real life experiences, and that we had the Alpine identity, that we met the needs of this community. And that indeed was a starting point then for the work that we went out to do to bring the best to Alpine. Big picture, as I mentioned, is one of the results of our efforts of searching for the best plan for Alpine. It is one of the best plans out there that we have found that addresses the needs of the individual student. It was started by a gentleman, actually two gentlemen, who found that the current educational system that involves students sitting in rows for 55 minutes being lectured to probably wasn't the best method for really educating our kids. He believed that if you could connect them to the real world, that you could make it authentic learning, that A, we would decrease the dropout rate, we would increase the success rate, and we would really be meeting the needs of kids going out and trying to find a job in the future. So Big Picture was born from that. Their philosophy basically is they are committed to one student at a time. They're committed to ensuring the educational system is based on rigor. And by rigor, I mean if I am an advanced student, I want to make sure I push that student as far as I can to achieve the very highest level they're capable of. If my student is struggling, Rigor means I support them and help them attain the very highest education they can get. So regardless of the spectrum your student falls on, the rigor aspect will push and support them to attain the very best they can, they can reach. Relevance, meaning that they are going to find relevance in what they're doing. This is not just seat time, this is connecting the seat time to the real world. And relationships, this is where true personalization for each student comes in. This is where we look at a small school model where our kids will be together with the same cohort of kids for four years. They're going to have a principal, and they're going to have a counselor, and they're going to have an advisor that are there by their side for the entire four years. This is the model that if any student begins to fall through the cracks, there is support to bring them back up. Having taught for 16 years in the Grossmont District, I can tell you firsthand that there are a lot of students that I watch fall through the cracks, that I wish we had a system in place to support them and bring them back which is why I got so excited to find a program out there that did just that. They wouldn't allow them to fall through the cracks. Key to achievement in big picture lies in fostering students' individual interests and encouraging active participation in the learning process. And you'll hear more about that in detail from our guests tonight that are here from the Met. Just giving you a couple of quotes from some people who have done extensive research around the big picture and about the schools of the future. This one just indicates that to transform high school to a relevant, meaningful institution, we absolutely need to make classroom learning more relevant to all students. And that goes back to the rigor, the relevance, and the relationships. Clay Christensen has written several books out there about education. He's done a lot of research about what really supports students to achieve the highest they're capable of achieving. And he quotes saying, I think the big picture schools are about as great an example of integrating opportunities to feel success with delivery of curriculum as it exists in America by knitting together the delivery of the content they need to learn with projects that allow them to use what they learn and feel successful, it truly is a beacon for all of us in education. 
So I put that up there so you don't think this was a group of gross mop people who went out there and just brainstormed something unique. This has been around for a while, it has been proven, and we're very excited that Alpine could be the first in the gross mop district to have this kind of school. So why big picture? A little bit of data for you. At big picture schools, more than 92% of students earn their high school diplomas. We compared that with 52% nationally, and 95% of their students are accepted into college. Success rates are huge, we know, with this system of education. According to Congressman George Miller, who's chair of the House Education Labor Committee, he says, big picture is engaging students to discover the level of context they understand, how to apply it, how to appreciate it, and how they can connect it to the next path in education, life, and experience. So the essential components, what that means in real life for us here in Alpine and for our school would include, to start with, we're looking at two houses. Now that, that house represents that small learning community like I mentioned. That small learning community is in a house which would have 400 students, we would eventually build it out to accommodate 2,000 students, which will give us eventually five houses total. Each house is self-contained. So each house has their own administration. They have their own principal. They have their own counselor. They have an intern coordinator, which we'll talk about. They have an advisor. So when I talk about being personalized, that those students are known by the people who are supporting them, they go through four years in that house and their strengths, their weaknesses, it's known to those who are working with them throughout that time. Two science classrooms in each building. You're gonna see there are two stories, and we have a science classroom at the top floor and a science classroom at the bottom floor, fully equipped to offer absolutely any science class that any other school could offer and more. The flexible spaces and fab labs, there's lots of room, as you're gonna see in the architectural design, where students can be out doing project-based learning. They can actually get their hands into what they're doing and create things that connect them back to what they're learning in the classroom. We have fab labs, which if you're not familiar, give us all kinds of materials that kids can create things. So for kids who are more of our kinesthetic learners that are building, that are doing things with their hands, this kind of learning is absolutely the perfect way to ensure they get a skill that's applicable to their future.